Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. And today we're taking a look at this Speed of Light Tarmac SL7 frame that I have here. And if you ever wondered why they would sell an S-Works frame set, 12 bar carbon, with a specialized decal, we're gonna get into that video today. So, without further ado, give me a second. I gotta do some quick edits, I'll be right back. All right, cut it, I'm gonna jump off here. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna get the table out. All right, ready? Okay, hopefully there's some sick edits in there, as I plan to. So this is the Tarmac SL7 Speed of Light. First and foremost, if you guys are wondering why my face is, is like a, um, a tomato, I went on like a camping trip with my wife and I'm very light skinned and I, I don't um, tan well, if that makes sense. But, so I posted a picture of this frame set, of the Speed of Light uh, limited edition frame set that they released before the Olympics. Actually, let me see if my head is cut off or not. I don't think my head might be cut off. I think it is, yeah. I'll do this. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. Hold on. Give it a second. And the main comment I would always get about this frame would be, uh, why are they selling? Now, granted, this is one of their most expensive frames that I think they released uh, ever, if I can actually remember. Uh, it's $7,000 retail USD for this, for this frame set. And it doesn't say S-Works on it. It's still an S-Works level carbon frame set. It's 12R carbon, but it does not say S-Works on here. And it's the same reason why uh, back in 2016, when they did the Rio Olympics, when they had those SL5 limited edition colors that went from orange to yellow, depending on heat, they used that special kind of paint. But it was really funny because in, in, in Rio, it was always hot, so it always stayed one color. But we had those here as well, and they were one of the coolest paint jobs where it was like orange to yellow if it got cold or hot or if you sweat on it. But the pros were all riding and said specialized. And you can even buy the, the frames afterwards to be specialized as well. The main reason why, obviously, and the same reason why they're riding this in the Olympics in Tokyo, is for marketing. So S-Works is not the name brand of the company. And if the athletes or riders or if they win first place, they want it to say specialized inside of it. So they decided to give them the opportunity. That's why they released this bike. And that's why they released the complete bike this is s-works that maybe if you're an enthusiast or a fan or maybe you want to ride exactly what they're riding in the olympics um this is this gives you the option too so you're still getting the s-works grade quality the top of line tier you get these little nice accent pieces which i'll show you on this carbon fiber uh, c post and these little nice things like the sticker and the bottom quote and the cool paint job but you get to have like kind of like a piece of history it, this is definitely these only come around every once in a while um you don't get that uh, crazy S-Works logo and and if you want a quality level bicycle and just have specialized in there uh, then maybe this frame is for you now a lot of you are saying hey if I'm gonna pay seven grand or, or five thousand or, or buy an S-Works bike you want to say S-Works on there fair enough I understand that uh, it's a lot of money you want people to know you have S-Works money but this is for those people who believe it or not have customers who don't want that high item level they want to be more nonchalant they want to be more uh, just spend their money on a product that's really nice and then be able to have a, a specialized logo. But without further ado, I wanna kinda of show you guys some cool things like the C-Post, which is a, an amazing color. I wish you could buy the aftermarket and some nods to like uh, the Speed of Light sticker and then some quotes on here as well. So give me one second, better stop. I'm gonna roll out here like this. Oh, no, I can't even roll. Just make me explode out and explode back in. Whew. I get so many views of that. All right, so this is a size 49 frame that we got in here. I'm actually building this up, I believe, tomorrow with Ceram Red Grupo. Um, I have Ceram Red Grupo. I have Revolve CLX 50 wheels on it. I have the new Rapid handlebar, which I have in stock. Um, but we're going to be building up, and this is a 49. So, but you can see. So this is, yes, a Speed of Light limited edition frame set. This is the same frame that they're riding in the Tokyo Olympics. So it is cool in that matter of it. If you want to buy an Esrix bike, they sell a complete Esrix version of this, but they have the little Esrix Speed of Light sticker right here, which is really just a sticker, if you guys didn't know. But it is a cool decal. I wish it was in the paint for that kind of money, but no lie, this seat post, I think for what the money is, this is what, <laughs> this is what you're paying the money for. No, but that seat post, I know the seat's gonna be covering some of that, but it's just cool little things like that that definitely make it look 
different. You have the deep red tint in the middle of the frame, but then going down to the fork, it definitely comes out more. They have a brighter red tint on it, and that is that specialized color that we're all known to see, that red color. You have the Tarmac logo on the back, um, but I absolutely love this color. It's really cool. Now, $7,000, that is a pricey, pricey bike. Um, I, I mean, I don't know where. They're limited edition stuff. Usually, I'll give you in perspective. A regular Tarmac S-Works SL7 frame set is $5,500. Their limited edition stuff is usually $6,500 or $6,000. This being $7,000 definitely was pricey. And for it not to have the S-Works name on there is going to be harder to sell. But like I said, it's it's more after the momentum, the memento of the... Uh, specialized. I'm sorry, the, the the Olympics. Give me a second. I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff I got in my shop real quick. Oh, I want to weigh this too. We're going to weigh it. You guys want to see something cool? Hold on, wait. I'm going to show you guys something cool. All right, it's closing time. But, oh my God. These are all Revolve Rapide handlebars. And then, Choose, 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 helmets, with the Schwinn frame, Paramount, Athos frame, zip bars, more, more handlebars, and shoes. Cool, now we're gonna weigh the frame. <clears throat> Okay, let me get the bike real quick. In all seriousness, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I will do more shop talks. I actually had a lot of fun doing the videos, talking about the experiences in the store. I have plenty more stories. Uh, I just kind of want to pick and choose. I don't want to offend anyone or hurt anyone's feelings that I was a customer in the past because I do have a lot of recurring customers. So, but I do enjoy speaking about my experiences in, this, in the industry. And yeah, I just figured, I just always want to say thank you because I got such great feedback on that video. And I had a blast uh, making it. So, this is the Speedlight frame set. Ah! Fork in, steer not cut, stem on there, C post installed, and through axles on there right now. We're at three pounds, nine ounces. Now, this is a 49. Now, if you remember, I weighed a wind space frame set without a fork, without a steer, without a stem, without a C post, and that was a size 56, and that was three pounds. So, much more stuff on here. The frames are really light and you're at 1.62 kilos and this is a size 49, like I said. That's both through axles and everything installed. So I'm excited to do a build on it. Once I build it up, um, I will for sure do a video on it. I'm debating whether or not to do the handlebars we have picked out, the group that we have picked out, mainly just because we can get our hands on frame red. Um, but I'm debating whether or not to do uh, either the Revol CLX 50 wheel set or I'm thinking about doing, I have Princeton Peak 4550 wheels in here, which will look sick. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. I have a bunch more content coming out. This week has been slammed busy for us, as you guys can tell right here. My repair department, chock full like always. Um, bikes, chock full like always. We're getting stock back in, which is great, but it's it's a holiday time right now, and we are getting really busy. So uh, I don't know if, and plus with daylight savings, I always put a damper down. It's harder to do videos at nighttime because the sun goes down by five. I will be doing more videos in the future. Tons of videos. I want to do more talking, everything like that. So thank you guys again. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see down below. And I'll talk to you guys when I saw that. I'll see you later in the future, sir. Thank you guys so much. See you guys later.